Hi, welcome to the short video on the fundamental concepts for understanding security in ClickView. My name is John Callan, I'm with the product marketing team at ClickTech. This video is part of a series of videos on the topic of security in ClickView. If you haven't already done so, please take a look at the first video entitled Understanding Security in ClickView and Overview and all preceding videos to better prepare you for the topics presented here. In this short video, I want to discuss the role that document and supervision accounts play in an overall ClickView deployment. In addition to a ClickView administrator user type, one can also assign users to both document and supervision roles. Let's look at both. A ClickView document administrator is one who has authorization through the Enterprise Management Console on a ClickView server to create reload, reduction and distribution tasks via ClickView Publisher on source documents and to assign authorization privileges to end users that are offered up via the ClickView server. When logged in as a ClickView administrator, I can assign certain users and groups to be document and supervision administrators. So what I've done here is assign the user John Doe with document administrator privileges. I can now log off the server. When I log back into the server as John Doe and open up the ClickView Enterprise Management Console, you'll see that this user now has a reduced set of tabs that he can access in the console, reflecting his authorization status. From here, he can create new tasks on source documents and assign user privileges on user documents, but he cannot access any other server-side functionality or settings. He can create a new reload and distribution task, assign a group authorization to an individual user document, but that's all. Logging back in as a ClickView admin, you can see that I can also assign users and groups to be supervision accounts. When a user or group is added to this section, he or she will have full access to see all applications published on the access point regardless of whether they appear in the application distribution list. As you can see, I've assigned the user Jane Eyre to be a supervisor of the root folder. When I log off and log back in as her in Access Point, you'll now see that I have access to all of the documents in that directory, regardless of my individually assigned access privileges. As a supervisor, Jane can make sure that the documents were correctly reloaded and are ready for the user community. What you have just seen is a short video looking at the roles of a document and supervisor administrator on the ClickView server. This video is part of a series of videos covering security in ClickView, and I encourage you to view the other videos in the series to give you a more complete picture of how security is handled in ClickView. Thank you.